Post it sequentially with this one. Um, it's called Delta Jig Dagadir. Um, and I called it that because uh, Delta, I have no secret that I like Delta Blues. Um, and when I first started playing music, that would be something that I would play when I'd be messing around. And then um, the first time I was in Morocco, oh, hello, kitty. Um, I was uh, at a festival called Tadigalt um, in Mohammed Al Kazlan um, at the edge of the Sahara. And there was this band from uh, there was this band from Agadir playing that exact same thing riff, and um, I thought, wow, that's, that's cool. And now it's no secret that there's a big connect. Uh, I mean, there's no it's not a big connection. It's where it comes from. But blues music in Africa is no secret to anybody. And if you do like blues music, and if you're listening to me, you you probably do too. There's a lot of really amazing contemporary bands. Um, like Tenadawin and um, the Feast del Haddad and um, Dara Thrives, Nora Min Simali, and older bands that I think are still playing but are more famous for their older recordings, like Nas El Gawan. Um, at any rate, yeah, that connection is, is, is no secret, and a lot of Ganawa music on, on Gibri as well. But um, it's An Kushulish Nakil Tradesutan Hair and Freshen. It's very similar also to a lot of Irish music, and that's what really strikes me. Because um, if you are Irish, you probably know about the Bob Quinn Atlantean theory. Um, and, uh, you know, all that's, and with the music and Sean No singing, and um, the Tunisian Berbers who could understand Irish back in the 1800s. Um, of course, a lot of that connection would have been occurring before writing was done, so there may be a limited amount um, that we can find out about things like that. But nonetheless, those types of connections I find fascinating. In fact, if I could do anything, if I could do anything, if I could have any wish, it'd be, travel, be to travel back 4,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, and see, listen to the languages, listen to the music, see what the world was like. Um, so anyway, that's why I called it Delta Jig Dagadir. It's, um, you know, kind of a, a three-way uh, un uniting three different ideas, and um, don't play with that. And um, 
And so I think what I'll start doing is maybe sharing some videos with the music of some of those bands, because uh, that's what makes me tick. And I think that's enough uh, talk for me.